What's up everybody? I'm just going to do a real quick video. I tried to record this a second ago, but it kept going wrong, but I'm going to do a real quick video about how to back up your save data. I've get, been getting that question a lot from the previous video. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it and the best practices on what to do when you're dealing with um, all these patches and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm going to introduce you guys to another fix that was found by uh, Digigod on his YouTube. All credit for that goes to uh, them. He is able to play uh, 1.21 using a 1.20 exe file and still be able to load his mods, everything like that. So uh, I'll show you guys that in just a second. But for now, I want to show you guys how to back up your save files because you guys are super worried about it. And it's pretty easy to do. And it's something we should all be doing anyway. So um, the save files for WWE 2K23 are saved usually in your C drive. It's going to be in program files, x86, Steam, user data. This is the uh, Steam ID that you use when you log into Steam. So that's different for everybody. Uh, mine is 1788, whatever that is. And then inside of that folder, you're going to see a 1942. 660 folder that is the game for or the game folder for the saves of wwe 2k23 and inside of that that is a remote folder you click into that that's your save data and your save data backup a lot of the times these files will be the exact same thing they seem to update at the exact same time and you see the file size is the same on both um However, if you do happen to have a 1.20 save file, if you haven't gone into the 1.21 patch um, and, you know, played and saved the game, you still have your 1.20 save file. You're still all good to go. There is also a chance that your backup may be 120, which is also amazing. Um, but what, what you want to do is you want to take these files, just copy. So I hit control C there. I'm going to my WWE 2K23 save data backups and you see I have 1.19, 1.20. I have a main folder, which is my most recent save. It keeps my roster for my show all uh, saved up and current just in case anything happens. And then I have this tutorial folder with nothing in it. This is just to show you guys that's where I would put the save data backups. Um, if I wanted to protect them from being overwritten by the game, etc. Now, to speak about the fix, um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you. Uh, Digigod, I have to give props to him. This is his YouTube channel, uh, Digigod YT. Go ahead and subscribe to them because all credit for this fix does go to them. Um, they have uploaded a patch. Or, an, or not a patch, but an EXE file for this current 1.21 version of the game. This is just a 1.20 EXE file that somehow just works um, with the game and allows mods to work. But the the trick of it is, is really only mods from uh, the baked file 51 and 52 work right now on the 1.21 patch. But if you have the 1.20 exe file and then 1.20 um you know save file you can still play the game on 1.21 have some sort of mods going on but if you don't we're going to have to just wait and see what the larger modding community does all the smart guys that are uh far more smarter than me however i just wanted to show you guys you just go ahead and you download this of course i already have it i'll download it anyway It'll say, you know, do you want to download? Yes. Wonderful. It's downloaded. And now I'm going to go back to my folders here. And inside of there, once it finishes downloading, my internet is not the greatest, but it, it's working on it. Um, all these uh, security checks and everything like that, you know, make everything slower these days. But now I have this fix and we need to know where to put it. So we're going to take this Digigod fix. I'm just going to control C to copy it. And then I am going to go into my WWE 2K23 Steam programs files directory. Um, so that's where all the game files and your mod files and everything like that are stored. 
So on my case, it's in my E drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common WWE 2K23. That's going to be different regardless uh, of, you know, um, where you guys have your stuff saved. You might have it on your E drive as well. You might have it exactly uh, saved where I do, but most people are going to have it, you know, either on a D drive or their C drive. Either way, the path is probably going to be very similar. All you're going to do is copy and paste that, replace the uh, file in the destination. That is it. We're going to go into Steam. And now we are going to make sure that we are in offline mode. And once we're in offline mode, we're going to go to library, home, and then we are going to start uh, WWE 2K23. And it should have started right up here. You see now we have that uh, press any button screen. Now we're still on 120. Gonna just go right in there. And once we're in the dashboard, you can go ahead and here I'll, I'll actually go into my OBS, hide this. Um, so once we're actually in there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Steam, hit go online, and then we can go back into the game and go to community creations just toggle back and forth like we did in the last video and eventually it will pop up there we go finally and you can go to community creations downloads all Hopefully, again, there's no unsavory pictures that pop up because 2K likes to solve everything other than um, what they actually need to be solving. And I use that word solving very loosely, but we see we still have access to all of the uh, community creations and all of that stuff. So for right now, these are the two ways to continue. Uh, using WWE 2K23 with mods either on 1.20 and not allowing it to update um, or using 1.21 with a exe file from 120 and 120 save data. Uh, I apologize for any of you guys or I feel for any of you guys that have uh, lost any of your created wrestlers. I know a few people have mentioned that in my comments. Um, you know, the best thing I can think of is like someone else said, upload your calls to community creations and, uh, download them on, on the new save if you have to. Um, but right now these are the best options we have. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Hopefully it uh, put you guys at ease knowing how to back up your save files. And if anything else happens, I will be back with an update and, you know, hopefully these people see sense soon because you know modders and people that buy on pc just for mods are like i would say 30 percent of the people that buy their game so um, that's it for now